What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today my garden has given me another surprise. Uh, among all of these weeds, I happen to find this plant. Now of course I'm not able to clean any of the weeds because it has been raining a lot. But once the rain subside, I will be doing a deep cleaning over here and getting rid of all the weeds. But uh, luckily I happen to notice this. The flowers have uh, fallen off but I'll put up the image. So this is uh, the... Crossandra, this is the pink color. They do come in other colors as well. Uh, but this has voluntarily uh, grown among this weed and I'm extremely, extremely happy. Now this plant in India is a very auspicious plant. It is used in a lot of uh, ceremonies, whether uh, it's weddings or uh, it's for worshiping the God. Uh, the flowers are used as garlands so it is a very good thing to see this uh, plant growing voluntarily in my garden now of course i will be taking this out and giving it an individual pot uh, this is uh, the flower bracket so there was flowers on this so this is the bracket of the flowers so i will be taking it out and uh, let's see how it uh, works so i've taken the plant out these are the roots and this is uh, the plant uh, i've already made the soil mix you can see it's slightly moist because of the rain now the soil remains the same which i usually tend to use for all of my plants which is a mix of uh, coco peat garden soil and sand uh, basically it will maintain a slight amount of moisture because of the sand, the soil is well draining and garden soil is going to give the basic nutrients. So we are just going to push the roots into the soil. And cover it up. So here we go. We are done. I'm going to offer it a good amount of uh, morning direct sunlight. Uh, these plants prefer a lot of sun. Uh, just like any other flowering plant uh, five to six hours or six to seven hours but if you have a very strong and harsh afternoon sunlight try to avoid that uh, so probably until 12 noon uh, direct sunlight is absolutely fine but after that it has to be indirect bright light but of course as in when the plant gets matured and if the plant is very large then you can offer a little bit more sunlight but at the initial stage when the plant is very young like this five to six hours of morning direct sunlight is absolutely fine so that's about it i'm not going to be watering it if your soil is dry you'll have to go ahead and do a watering because my soil is uh, completely moist so i'm not going to be watering it now i haven't added any fertilizers i don't usually add fertilizers right away i wait at least for a month and then i go ahead and add fertilizers which is usually my uh, compost tea you can use warmy compost or compost or even uh, seaweed liquid fertilizer as well uh, once in 15 days is uh, good enough when it is flowering this is a perennial plant it is not an annual plant so it is going to stay in your garden and as and when the seeds fall uh, they start to uh, generate more saplings or seedlings so that's about it guys i hope that you like this video if you did please hit the like button and if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then, take care, stay safe and keep planting.